I mean, we may lose a little bit of our sanity going through our pre-travel medical checklist over and over again, but traveling with chronic illness is not a simple task and you gotta do what you gotta do. is still hurting I've still got a pretty intense headache it is hurting less than yesterday so I will take it I'm pretty busy today Judd and I are leaving for Orlando tomorrow and so I've got lots of things I need to do around the house yesterday I felt so terrible I couldn't get anything done so today I've got to fold and put away laundry I've got to clean because due to my severe allergies and immunodeficiency the house needs to be kept very clean so it's like a safe zone for me I've already finished cleaning downstairs, wiped down the kitchen counters, did the downstairs bathroom, dusted, and now the Roomba's running. So I've got to clean upstairs, and right now I'm just sorting out my pills for the week to get it ready for our trip. And I've also got a pack today, so I'm just doing the best I can with this <laughs> malfunctioning, head hurty body of mine, but I'm feeling pretty optimistic about my ability to get everything done. is done and then each day I just put it into my daily pill organizer I take pills five times a day and there's two more slots for as needed pills I got this at Whole Foods I really like it anyways I need a break I'm exhausted from cleaning downstairs my head is starting to hurt a little more so I'm gonna rest a little bit then I'm gonna try tackling the laundry and there's quite a bit of it Harlow say good morning to the people do you want to show them your toy can you get it what toy do you have Oh, you love that one. That's one of her birthday toys. <gasps> oh, so fun. <sighs> All right, try not to squeak too much. My head needs a rest, but you're cute. Well, I took a break and folded the laundry. But I made my headache worse. My migraines are usually always caused by my chronic neck pain from my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because my neck is very hypermobile and it causes inflammation, tension, and pain, and then that just shoots up and causes a migraine. And it's usually controlled with my preventative meds, but sometimes I get breakthrough migraines like this. And although before I folded the laundry, my headache wasn't that bad and my neck pain was where it usually always is, the act of folding laundry, I have to move my arms a lot, which um, exacerbates any pain I'm feeling in my neck. So my neck pain got a little worse, which would made my headache a lot worse. So now I'm just gonna close the blinds and try and take a nap and rest. I'm alive. Okay. The pain actually got so bad. I had to take another abortive pill and I took a good nap in the dark and that seems to have helped. Still got head pain, but it's getting better. And something else that's better. Julian's here. <laughs> and Harlow's showing off her birthday toy. <laughs> She's obsessed with that thing. She chose it. Did I tell you that? No. I put two toys down and she chose that one. <laughs> Julian's my good friend and we haven't seen each other since he came to see me in the hospital, right? No, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a long time. So we're gonna hang out today because I was like, we gotta see each other before we go back to Orlando. We're just going to Orlando for the weekend, but still. All good. Harley was happy. <laughs> She's so, right <laughs> so proud of herself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't need this, but thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she went to the front door and got that for you. Oh She's so God. proud. <laughs> I am so thankful that the abortive pill I took seems to be working better today than it has the past three days. Still have head pain, but it's getting better. And I got my friend here. That's always a good way to cheer yourself up. So I've got to start packing for our Orlando trip and um, I'm gonna do all my medical stuff first which is a lot. I gotta get my port care supplies, my IV medications, my infusion supplies, and now on top of all that, this is the first time I'll be traveling with my feeding tube. So all the feeding tube supplies. It's gonna be quite a bit, but I can do it.
all my stuff laid out. Well, I still have to get my nebulizer, breathing treatments, medicines, pills, other stuff too, but it's a lot of, a lot of packing. When you are chronically ill, it is not just a matter of getting up and going on a trip. There is a lot of planning involved. You have to account for what ifs, what, how many angioedema attacks am I gonna have? There's no way to know, so you gotta plan for the worst but hope for the best. So that's why I'm packing extra of everything, making sure I get enough feeding tube formula, because it's not like I can just run out. Running out of feeding tube formula would be detrimental, so a lot of planning goes into taking a trip when you're chronically ill, but if you do it right, you can have a good time. Did a little more packing here and I am exhausted. I haven't finished yet, but I'm gonna go downstairs and take a break. I can't keep going anymore. But it is okay to take a break when you need to. And I'm really proud of myself for getting so much done today despite the pain in my head. I mean, I did some things around the house, got some cleaning done. I've done a majority of my packing. The only issue is I'm so fatigued and exhausted now, I can't really think clearly. So I'm worried that if I try to push more and continue packing, I'll forget important medical stuff. So that's why I'm taking a break, because I need one, and that's totally okay. Um, thankfully, the pain in my head is dissipating thanks to that abortive pill. Seems to be working well. Also, had a great time with Julian. He's gone home now, but we hung out, we talked. It was a nice... Nice seeing my friend, and now I'm probably gonna knock out for a nap. Took my break, I'm feeling more rested, and now I'm sitting on the floor here with the pooch who keeps putting her rope toy in my lap. She loves this rope toy I made her. Good girl. <laughs> Can I help you? So I am starting to get the pre-travel jitters, just stressed about the travel itself and what it entails to travel when you're chronically ill. The trip I'm excited about, like I'm excited about seeing friends and family and all the fun stuff we're gonna do in Orlando, but when you're chronically ill, so much planning and preparation goes into traveling. You have to make sure you have all the supplies, medications you need to maintain your malfunctioning body. And this is my comfort zone. At home I have everything I could possibly need, IV medications, infusions, feeding tube supplies, pills, my local doctors that know me, my local hospital that knows me if anything goes wrong. So leaving it, it's kind of like, we really gotta make sure we have <laughs> Harlow, why don't you lay down? You're cute, but I gotta talk to the people. <laughs> Look at that. She just buried her head into my stomach. But anyways, there's just so much planning goes into it because it takes a lot of work to keep up with a body that's constantly fighting against you. And then to take all the tools you use to fight that fight to another location, it's a lot. And it can be a little stressful, but Judd and I have done this countless times. We are prepared, we can do this. I mean, we may lose a little bit of our sanity going through our pre-travel medical checklist over and over again, but traveling with chronic illness is not a simple task and you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, Harlow, you got a yummy dinner. Can you spin? Harlow, namaste. Okay. Good girl. So I am going to be traveling with Harlow and her raw diet this weekend. All I do is take as many pre-packaged meals as I need, put them in a lunchbox with some ice packs, and then when we get to Paul and Janice's house, I pop them in the freezer. Simple. I am not making videos about raw diets because it would just be duplicates of what my friend Janice is making videos of, and there's a link to her YouTube channel in the description if you want to learn more about raw diets. She has great videos to give you more info. Good girl, Harlow, clean up. She's putting away her last toy. Good dog, look how full your toy bin is. Well, I finished watching Shark Tank for the night. Harlow put all her toys away. Unfortunately, my head is starting to hurt quite a bit again. And although the pain is coming and going, it's definitely progressing where I want it to go and it's getting better, thankfully. So I'm just gonna focus on that. I know I'll get through the headache, migraine issue I'm having for the past three days now. And I now need to go upstairs and get ready for bed. I gotta finish packing, gotta get my nebulizer and inhaler treatments all put away. Gotta double check and make sure I have everything I need. I gotta pack for Harlow, just a lot to do. Like I said, traveling with a chronic illness, a lot goes into it, but if you do it right, you can still have a good time. So gonna go make sure I have everything I need. And with that, I will say good night and thank you so much for joining me on my adventure.